You want to say, oh, no, I will get the money back and I'll try to do it for the next five people because I like it. I didn't take this money and say, now I want to make money with this money. Maybe. So unless you have tested it, you'll never know. So all I can say that you have to go out and do it and see which one makes happy. You put some money in making money for yourself, put some money to solve problems. And then go back and see after a while, when business is running, see which one you want to do more. What makes you confident that this idea will grow? Because it's already growing. I see good response. We hold uh, conferences every year. Every year we hold a conference in Bangladesh. We call it Social Business Day. Next one is coming July 28 and 29. You are all invited. I'm sure the listeners of your program can come and join us. See what is happening around the world in social business. Because people come from all around the world to discuss what they are doing in those countries, in their countries. Last year we had about 1,700 people in the conference. Uh, largest delegation came from was from China. More than 100 people came from China. The top business people, the academic people, young people, they came. Uh, this year also, we are expecting nearly about 2,000 people coming. So that shows the popularity of the idea, what they're doing, the commitment of that. And since you're teaching in the co university courses, like China has several universities which teaches social businesses and have social business centers. USA has them, Europe has them, uh, Australia has them. So the, the young people are learning about it and want to practice that. So I see it's gradually more and more people are interested. And the fact that you are interviewing me is another indication that you are interested. Otherwise, you won't be interviewing me for this. So that's the way it spreads. And your listeners will be, well, say, maybe what is it that he's talking about? Why don't we do it in Kuwait? Is there any problem? We don't, don't we have any problem in Kuwait? If we have problem, why don't you try social business? Excellent. So that will be one idea. In your university, you can start a social business center, you can start teaching courses, encourage young people to learn about it. And whether they use it or not, that's up to them. Definitely. As an academic institution, you can tell the students what this is all about, that there are ideas that we can be applied anywhere. Definitely, we'll talk about it. And since you mentioned Kuwait, uh, His Highness Amir donated uh, allocated 2 billion KD, which is more than uh, almost close to 700, uh, uh, 7 billion US dollar for of development of um, uh, small business enterprise, entrepreneurs in small business. What do you think about this initiative? It's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea. What I would simply suggest, can he compartmentalize it? One for the conventional business, he will invest in conventional business, small businesses, and another for social business. So anybody who would like to invest in social business, he will be financing it from here, just like the other business. And they will get the money back, etc., etc., just like the same principle. But if you have a window, an allocated fund, this is half the money is here. If you want to start social business, solve problems, then suddenly you see all these problems are in attention because now business people are going to see how to solve the problem of unemployment, how to solve the problem of uh, poor uh, residences, health care, and so on and so forth. So whatever problem Kuwait has prioritized, number one problem, number two problem, and so on, and make it happen. And suddenly you see a completely new world is emerging from Kuwait. So I, I appreciate what the, His uh, Excellency is doing and then uh, see how it can be done in a social business way. How SMEs and social business work together? SME is a size. So it's a, it's a SME oh. is a small business. So a small business for making money, small business for help, solving problems. So they're both small. But one is a social business, another is a profit making, personal profit making business. So you are just saying that we, this money is available if anybody would like to invest in a small social businesses. Yes, That's it. To compartmentalize. You do it separate it out so that they, they don't say, well, uh, nobody came to us. Yes. If you allocate this money and say this money is available for this purpose, suddenly we say, why don't we apply for that? Why don't they come up with an idea? And the universities can tell them how to design this. You can have a design competitions and all kinds of things so that people come up with business ideas, social business ideas. Excellent. And last question. Of all the experiences that you had in your life, which do you think shaped you the most? Wow. 
Well, I would say, uh, as things have shaped over the years with me, that sudden decision to lend money from my own pocket back in 1976, I think was the most important thing I have done. At that time, I had no idea. I thought it's just as part of the moment thing. I want to give the money to the people so that they don't have to go to the loan shark. It was just a personal thing. And I did it, and it snowballed. More people came, and it gave more people more money out of my own pocket. I continued to do that until I started feeling that my money will be running out very soon because I, so many people are taking money from me. Then I go to the bank to see I can persuade the bank to do that. The bank refused to do that, so I kind of struggled with it for several months, then offered myself as a guarantor. I said, I'll be your guarantor to the bank. You give the money. If they don't pay back, I'll pay back. And after long debates and things, several months of running around, finally they agreed. So I'm signing their papers and they're giving the money. So the whole thing, that first $27 that I gave, the first time out of my pocket, and that led to step-by-step -step creation of the Grameen Bank, idea of microcredit, the whole idea of redesigning the entire financial system, redesigning the entire uh, economic structure, all these things started taking shape from the very first step that I took by deciding to lend money myself. I think that was a very critical decision in my life. What do you think that people will remember you for what contribution in the future? That's up to people. I cannot tell how people will remember me or at all remember me. I mean, they are under no obligation to remember me. I do my own thing because I enjoy doing it. I make I feel the super happiness that I'm talking about, that's what I feel. I feel super happy because I do the things which I enjoy. Thank you very much, and Doctor, you. for your time. It was, I enjoyed Thank talking you. to you. It is a great.